Good shit can't happen, people. You know, it's not always gotta be bad. Like, why you gotta be self-fulfilling prophecy, this crap? We are the future makers. We make the difference. We make the changes. Come on, clear your mind, and let's see a positive, bright future. There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Boom. Thor News presents... I've got blood moon fever. It's driving me crazy. Alright, as most of you may have heard, this coming Sunday, we'll present the rarest of super moons. The first time in more than 30 years we will have a super moon and a lunar eclipse at the same time. Remember, never look directly at the sun during an eclipse or any time. Four blood moons, doomsday prophecy. Super moon. Lunar Eclipse 2015 coming Sunday prompts Apocalypse Prediction. Well, these days, if a fly farts, somebody makes an Armageddon prediction. That does not come true, but I will say that if you just want to go by the way the world has been since the first blood moon, shit has gotten shittier. So we are going to take a look at Doomsday Prophecies linked to the blood moon. Today is September 23rd, I believe Lin Lianz and Renee M. said an asteroid was going to hit today or tomorrow. I have just woken up, but I do not think an asteroid has hit Earth. Or my Twitter feed might have mentioned it. So we're going to take a look at um some of the uh, prophecies. The result a so-called blood moon that some in religious circles are suggesting will signal an end-of-the-world type event, a doomsday. Now, our world is pretty darn resilient. It would take one hell of a global catastrophe to end Earth and all life on it. Would you agree? Well, I would agree with you if you said yes. So, to me, it's pretty silly. This channel is called Thor News. Thor is a hero. So we don't get into the doom. We cover it, though, and giggle at the same time. Though the quickening is getting quicker, and the world is getting more foobar every single day. These are like slow, creeping events that we barely even notice, as opposed to large, gigantic meteors and asteroids hitting the planet, where everybody's like, hey, did you see that? New York was just taken off the map with a giant space rock. So while many astrological watchers are looking forward to the unique event, others are wondering if the end is near. Some in religious circles like Pastor John Hagee say the supermoon 
often called the blood moon. When it takes on a copper color during an eclipse, points to a significant world event like an apocalypse or an Armageddon. Hagee, a Christian minister from Texas, suggests that there are direct connections between four upcoming blood moon eclipses and what they portend for Israel and all of humankind. I don't know. You know, it's like, you know how New York thinks it's 95% in the United States? Sometimes I think Israel thinks it's 95% of the world. I don't think that's the case, though. The coming four blood moons point to a world-shaking event that will happen between April 2014 and October 2015, he said. World shake, 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 shake it. On Sunday, September 27, 2015, Earth's shadow will begin to dim the supermoon slightly, beginning at 8 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. and much of the world. A total lunar eclipse will begin to mask the moon's larger-than-life face for more than an hour. Over the last 500 years, blood-red moons have fallen on the day of Passover three times. These occurrences were were connected to some of the most significant days in Jewish history, 1492, the final year of the Spanish Inquisition, when the Jews were expelled from Spain. Hey, speaking of the Spanish Inquisition, we got the Pope in America hanging out, having fun. And then, in 1948, Statehood for Israel and the War of Independence. And then, in 1967, the Six-Day War. Every heavenly body is controlled by the same unseen hand of God. Which signals coming events to humanity. There are no solar or lunar accidents. The next series of four blood moons occurs at Passover and Sukkot in 2014 and 2015. Hagee writes in material promoting his book, Four Blood Moons. Hagee, according to abttimes.com, Sites of passage from Joel 2, 3, 1 in the King James Bible that he claims predicts the end of days with the arrival of blood moon. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes reads the biblical passage. Well, I mean, I think that meant the sun's just supposed to go black. Like, the sun's supposed to shut off for a minute or two, and then people freak out, and then bad stuff happens. I don't think it means a lunar eclipse, bro. What do I know? I'm just some dumbass YouTuber with my finger in my butt. I mean, that was a metaphor. My finger is not in my butt. While not addressing Hagee, a NASA official recently addressed rumors that an asteroid would hit Earth in late September, ending life as we know it supposedly. That is not expected to happen, he said. <laughs> We're not expecting an asteroid to hit it, Earth and kill everybody. Um, but if it does, we're sorry. There is no scientific basis 
not one shred of evidence that an asteroid or any other celestial object will impact Earth on those dates, said Paul Chode Ass, manager of NASA's Near Earth Object office at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. All right, so, yeah, I guess, basically, and just saying the world's gonna end. And you know what? I don't think the world's gonna end. My personal doom would be if my baby love, my girl, my girlfriend, does not make it to Texas in time to watch the blood moon in my arms. Then it would be like personal tragedy, and I would cry, and still hope to see the blood moon through my tear-stricken eyes. But that's just like personal dude, man. I don't think anything negative is gonna happen. I think all this is like, Slow creeping doom. Like more quantitative easing coming soon. More rights being stripped away from us. Who knows, man? Here, we're at Newsmax. Blood Moon 2015 triggers doomsday fears for some religious observers. The blood moon. The moon is illuminated by sunlight reflected off the earth during a total lunar eclipse. One of four so-called blood moons. The final blood moon. Full lunar eclipse of 2015. Which shall take place for the first night of the Jewish holiday of Sukkot on Monday has sparked doomsday fears of catastrophes among some religious observers. <sighs> the three most recent blood moon occurrences began in April during the Passover, continued during Sukkot in October 2014, and appeared again during the Passover in April 2015, according to the Times of Israel. These three, which with the oncoming fourth one next week, compromises a tetrad pattern. Don't any of y'all believe that good shit's gonna happen? Good shit can't happen, people. You know, it's not always got to be bad. Like, why you got to be self-fulfilling prophecy, this crap? We are the future makers. We make the difference. We make the changes. Come on, clear your mind, and let's see a positive, bright future. NASA predicts that this rare tetrad phenomenon will not occur again till 2033, according to Business Insider. So that means the world's going to end again in about 18 years. Although NASA has already dismissed theories of asteroids striking the Earth and other cataclysmic catastrophes, many religious groups are urging their followers to look seriously upon next week's blood, moon, lunar eclipse. Man, sometimes I think it's part of that Albert Pike way to discredit any type of religion. If you know what I'm talking about. Next Monday's blood moon will also be the harvest moon, which occurs near the audible equinox. It will be a super moon because the moon will be at, the, be at its perigee or closest point to Earth during this month. The last total super moon eclipse occurred in 1982. And the lunar eclipse will also be a blood moon because Earth will cast its shadow on the moon causing the 
refract the light in the atmosphere to reflect upon the moon with a red orange color. Although very few people are actually predicting the apocalypse of the second coming on this Monday, this tetrad occurs at the end of the Shemitah cycle during a Jubilee period and this holds enormous symbolism for the Jewish people according to the International Business Times. And you know, we could use a little bit of Jubilee because all the debt is fake and we don't want global currency collapse leading to absolute lawlessness. Alright, so I think we're going to get to see a really awesome celestial sight in the sky. I don't think any doom's gonna happen. It might even be really romantic. Although if my girl doesn't get here, it will not be. Anyway, God bless everybody. I will keep you posted on this day-to-day, minute-to-minute doom scenario. God bless everybody. Stay cool.